Okay, everybody, this is part two to the quilling video. Um, I will try to remember to link part one down below. So let's pick up where we left off. I'm going to make the leaves for the tulips, which are these things right here. Well, let me flip this one the opposite way. Well, I can just switch them. It'll go like this. And then here's the head to the tulip, which I will show in a few minutes. All right, so this is called a quilling comb. You can use any kind of comb, like the comb you comb with your hair, you can use that. The upside to using this is it is numbered. There are 15 prongs, and it says 1 through 15 on here because sometimes you have to count how many spaces you need to skip. Today, it will be quick and easy. I already peeled these off, ripped the paper off. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take my thumb and hold down the end of the paper I'm going to slide this inside so it looks like this and then it's, let me put my finger on it, solid on the back, all right? So I don't want it to come undone. So I'm going to glue it, but I'm going to wait because it's too hard to glue it like this, it's going to fall apart. So I'm going to take the, my paper, roll it upwards, go down to the next set of tines or prongs, whatever they are, and roll it around. Roll it around again. Before I do that, I'll put a little dab of glue there because I don't want it to come undone. You try to keep everything lined up as neatly as possible. Then you see where it is here. You got to skip the next one and go in underneath it and pull the paper back up. Skip one. So you have one one tine up, one tine down. And you keep going until this whole thing is finished. Let me see, where are we here? That's two. Arr. Now this is one whole thing of paper. I mean, one strip. I, the only thing I did to it was to um, pull the ends off like I had done in the previous video. See, there's tying number eight, and then I will go to to space number 10. The paper is in number 10. The empty one is number 9. This is why the numbers are wonderful on these things. Okay, now here's the end. And then a little dab will do ya. And then you just make sure everything's lined up and Hold it for a second. Then it slides off. And then you have this cool looking thing here. Can you see all the little lines in there? This is the tulip leaf. All right, so in order to make this not as visible, you see my line here? Sometimes it'll be towards the bottom. I try to make sure that it's not going to be seen. All right, so I pinch the top and we have bulbous on the bottom. And then I'm going to take my fingernail and I'm going to pinch it and twist it because I want my leaf to look different than the others. And when you do that, sometimes you can pull all this stuff down to the bottom and then pinch it and it curls a lot better because the stuff in the middle still moves. All right, we got that. So that's one. I think I did this one the opposite direction. I did all these others. Okay, so let me undo it. So then I'm going to scoot this up. The stuff moves inside. Well, I can scoot well. I'm going to scoot it down. And then pinch the top. And then the bottom will be glued inside the bowl so no one will know that I switched it, except for all of you. 
All right, so there's one leaf. Let's do it again. So those are the leaves for the tulips, okay? Now we're going to make the tulip flowers. So these are all the quarter inch strips. This, I need one, two strips. Remember, I pull from the inside, so all I have to do is pull it out. That's it. Tear the paper off the end so you don't have any glue on it. Now, it's going to be hard for me to see this, so if I'm talking about I can't see it, I'm not kidding. It's I'm used to working with a bright light shining right down on me, and when I divert the light so you can see it, I can't see. <laughs> All right. There we go. What? We didn't get it in. Nope, not yet. You can go from the top and do it, or you can see if you can stick it in there on the side. Come on, come on. There we go. And then I'm going to roll towards me. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Beep, 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 beep. Can't do that. I don't need this whole strip to make a flower. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in half. Now I'm going to do it. So sorry. Okay, this is the wrong side. This is the right side. And I'm going to feed this in this little thing at this slot again. Oh my goodness, it went in. I'm so surprised. Okay. Just roll it on my thumbnail or against the top of your thumb. I'm going to pull it out and it's a peg so it's a solid little piece like that. It's very tiny. Then I'm going to take my ruler and I'll lay it down here and I want my peg to open up so I put it inside here and it's going to spring but because the ruler has depth the paper is not going to, oh, get a little of my finger, sorry. The paper's not going to come flying out of here. It's just going to lay flat. Can you see it on the white? There, white. I don't know if it'll work this way. We'll do the next one on the cardboard. All right, so I'm going to pick this out of there. This is where sometimes people like tweezers. I'm going to take a little bit of glue, and dab it on here. Mash it for a second. Make sure it's lined up nice and flat. All right, so let me show you this. So this looks better on here. All right, so we have this, and it sprung open, and I mashed it back down too much. So it's a little bit, because I glued it, now it's stuck in that position. And I can't see, and I can't feel with my finger. Oh, is that it? Nope. Here it is right here. All right, so what I can do is stick it back down in here and let it unwind, uncoil inside here and try not to mash it too much because I don't want it to be any smaller. I want it to be consistent with the other stuff I make. That's the whole point of using these. All right, so put the glue on it again.
Make sure it's nice and flat. Yep. Okay. Whoops. Did I not get enough glue on there? Eee. Come on. Okay. Because there's a seam there, you don't want that to be showing in your project. So I want to make a teardrop. This is how you make a teardrop. You take the insides of the, <laughs> of the, now I gotta find the seam, of the little piece. Where's the seam? There it is, right there. Right there. So I'm gonna take it, put it at the bottom. I'm going to take all the ingredients in the middle, all the little circles in the middle, and I'm gonna shift them with my finger down low, and I'm going to pinch my top. And this is what you get. I don't know if the camera will focus. See, it's dark and you can't, I can't see it. Well, I'll have to make some with bright colors so we can see it. Anyway, so it's a teardrop. All right, so that is the front portion of the tulip. And I need two more because you're gonna have another tulip, but I'm gonna pitch it like I did the leaf to where it curves this way. And this will be on the bot, so we put these two here. And then I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna put it next to this one and I will glue these two together. Then I will take this one that's just your basic teardrop and I'm gonna glue that on top of these others. Eat, eat, eat. My, my, oh, let's spread these out a little bit more. This is where tweezers come in handy. Let's make sure these are spread out. And then this will be glued on top of these two. Then, let me see, let me get a toothpick and I'll show you what's gonna be done to it. As soon as I find one that's clean. Toothpicks. You can use wire, you can use toothpicks, you can paint them, you can wrap them in floral tape, whatever you want to do. So what's going to happen is this toothpick is to begin the stem. All this will be glued onto the toothpick like this. Then you will have your flower with your leaves. There you go. There's your tulip. Once these are done, once I figure out how to get all this stuff glued together, it's going to go into the flower pot that I showed in the first video, which now I need to glue this bottom on here. I haven't glued it on there yet. All right, so there's that one. Let me use one that's already glued together. So my idea is to take my tulip, put um, floral foam inside here, put a little piece in here, and then I will stab my toothpicks for my flowers in here. Then I will put a little bit of Spanish moss to cover it up and you will have a miniature flower pot with tulips in it. I don't have any Spanish moss at the moment or floral foam. <laughs> you can see how well I planned this out. <laughs> I did, I did not plan this out very well. Um, basically what I've been doing is I've been playing with containers. Like, do I want an oval container? Do I want a round container? This one I did the other day where I did two colors where it was a maroon and then I think it's the golden and it's glued together and it's got the um, deco page on it. This one also has glue at the bottom and a little bit of glue on the inside and then the deco page on the outside. So these are two different shapes. Then I played around with this one, which was too small. So I think I'm going to make a V-shaped or a cone-shaped vase to fit in the bottom of this one. Or maybe it will sit upside down and the cone will go up this way. So these are all works in progress. And I think I can use something else in here for the time being to hold these up because I need to get some floral foam, like just one block because, uh, you know, I don't know if this idea is going to work or not and I don't spend a lot of money on it. And then um, 
I will paint my toothpicks, find some green that will match that, and then stick them in the floor foam, and then put a little bit of Spanish moss at the bottom, and then it will be um, potted tulips. Okay, I might come back on another video and show you guys how I finish this off, maybe a part three. We'll see how it goes because I still need to get some more supplies, and I think what I will do is make lighter colored tulips so you can actually see them when they're on camera. Nothing like doing a demo and it's so dark no one can see it. Okay, I think that's it for now. Until I get the rest of the stuff I need to finish the project, I will see you in part three. Thank you, everybody. Bye.